Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Kent. I'm an Office Development MVP and a member of the core team. Let's take a look. So, as you'll be glad to know for your marketing overlords that are concerned about the warrior horses, that uh, the warrior horses have gone corporate. All right. So now, let's see what they got to do. So as now that they're going corporate and they're trying to incorporate more enterprise level uh, battles, uh, they need to really buff up on their their uh, corporate nothingness, right? So the little speeches throughout the day. So we're going to take a look at that. So I've got this list over here. All right, full of my corporate nothingness. I got a nice title and I've got you know the little speech they need to do here. All right, and generally if I want to do column formatting, it's as simple as I come down here, column settings, I say format this column. And I paste an exciting format. All right, all this one does is it uh, applies teal text, right? That's easy. So now I come over here, and I've got our nice repo here. Get that. Uh, we've got all sorts of cool samples, and I come in here to column samples, and I look down here, and I say, hey, look, text wrap format. I think this is exactly what I want. What this will do is it'll take this stuff right here where it's getting cut off there, I want to see that full speech, right? So horses have hooves, you know, using a mouse is hard. So we want to show the full speech all at once. So I'm going to grab this format. It's a really simple format. It's actually one of our earliest ones. But I come back here and I'm like, okay, I'm going here. Ah, oh my gosh! There's no format in this column option for multi-line text fields. What do I do? Well, good news, although that is strange and not obvious, you can always do this for all columns. You can go into list settings, choose your column down here, and there's this nice little field right down here where you can paste your column formatting directly. Right, So I can expand that out so I can see a little better. So I'm going to paste that format I got from the sample. All right, we're going to see if we can make it just slightly fancier. All right, we're going to add attributes. I'm going to edit it right here. Let's add a class. All right, just to make it a little more obvious that something got applied. So we're going to say ms font color, I'll say theme. Okay. All right, so we save that. Hit OK on that. Now we go back to our exciting site. Boom! Now we can see the full thing, and it's a lovely shade of blue. But the whole idea here is, for whatever reason, multi-line text fields don't have that option. So just to review what we did, take a look back here. This is how you normally do it for column formatting, but you're sad now because you can't do it in multi-line. Go in there. Go to list settings, choose your column, column formatting, paste it right there. You're good to go. Uh, you'll see the same thing in site columns. Uh, so you can do this for all of them. So if something else doesn't show up, here you go. All right. One caveat, though, on this is don't use rich text. Just, it's not recommended. Don't use it. So list formatting is going to always encode your values. That's why you can't just do HTML directly. You've got to do that element type, right? And rich text values, they come back as HTML. Therefore, your HTML will be encoded and displayed, and you will be sad. So just don't use rich text, uh, but you can use multi-line plain text all over the place. You can easily reference that in any format or view formatting as needed. And finally, here's some uh, resources. So check out the full documentation here. Find out what kind of columns are allowed, all that kind of stuff. Here's that sample. And then if you want a, a longer write-up of that, you can go to this link here. We paste that in there. So it's a slightly longer blog. We'll tell you the details. But that's it for the list formatted tip this week. Woo!